Since the early 1980s Turkish military had a need for a long-range artillery rocket system. Turkey obtained a small batch of 12 M270 MLRS systems along with 2,227mm artillery rockets from the United States. Deliveries were completed in 1992. The USA was reluctant to share technologies with Turkey. Hence soon after adoption Turkey began to reverse engineer the M26 227mm rockets of the M270 in order to have its own supply. Turkish companies significantly improved their capabilities in the area of artillery rockets. A second batch of 24 additional M270 MLRS systems with MGM-140 ATCMS short-range ballistic missiles was planned, but was eventually cancelled. During the 1990 Turkey approached several other countries, including China, France and Israel with proposals regarding rocket and ballistic missile technology transfer, joint development and co-production. Chinese offer was the best. As a result in 1997 an agreement was signed for the joint development and production of a variant of the WS-1 multiple launch rocket system in Turkey. The T-300 Kasurga, Hurricane, is manufactured in Turkey by Roketsan. The Turkish system had some differences from the WS-1. It was as based on a German manned 6x6 tactical truck chassis. Prototype was completed and first test launches were made in Turkey in 2000. The Kasurga entered service with the Turkish military in 2000. In 2016 it was exported to Azerbaijan. These artillery rockets saw action during the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war. In 2019 Bangladesh ordered a regiment of these rocket systems. Deliveries are planned to be completed in 2021. This system is used to engage priority targets with guided rockets at ranges up to 90 to 120 kilometers. Typical targets for this system are hostile artillery batteries and air defense systems, command posts, radar sites, logistical facilities, assembly areas, and other high priority targets. The Kurga uses TR-300 series artillery rockets. The rockets are actually 320 millimeters in diameter, though these are sometimes referred simply as 300 millimeters hence the 300 designations. There are unguided TR-300S rockets with a maximum range of up to 65 km and TR-300E rockets with a maximum range of up to 100 km. These are used against area targets. For precision strikes the TRG-300K guided rockets are used. This rocket weights 585 kg and has a range of 120 km. It carries a 105 kg high explosive, he, warhead, filled with steel balls. This rocket uses inertial guidance with GPS and GLONASS update. It is accurate out to 10 m and has a destructive radius of around 70 m. The improved, or Block 2, guided rocket has a significantly more powerful warhead, but at a cost of reduced range. It weights 670 kg and can reach targets at a range of up to 90 km. It carries a 150 kg C warhead and has a destructive radius of around 80 m. This rocket is also accurate out to 10 m. This rocket system is operated by a crew of three. It takes around 20 minutes to prepare the launcher vehicle to fire. The launcher vehicle uses automatic fire control system with manual backup. Typical battery of the Kasurga includes six to nine launcher vehicles, associated resupply vehicles, and command post vehicle. All of these vehicles are based on the German MAN 6x6 tactical truck chassis. If required each launcher vehicle has all necessary equipment and can operate independently.